straight out to our producer, Celine Darkelstanian. You spoke with a family member just moments ago. What can you tell us, Celine? I spoke to the grandma, Wilma, who was actually babysitting the kids before, the day that they went missing, and she was obviously very distraught. She was very upset. She said she was headed out the door to go to church because uh, all of the family is gathering at church tonight to comfort each other and to meet over there. That's kind of a gathering place for the family now. I also called Tammy, who has been on our show several times, who even called us a few weeks ago and asked us to do an update on the girls. But Tammy was too distraught to talk. I spoke to another family member. So obviously, Jane, this is a family who you know, was, was holding out hope and thinking that these girls might be alive and might be found alive. And today we hear the sad news. And uh, John Lieberman, you've got some breaking news for us. Yeah, Jane, working uh, the phones here and the Blackberries, uh, what we know is that both families of the missing girls were called to police headquarters. They actually met face to face with police to find out about this. Our sources are confirming that the bodies were found in Bremer County. That's B-R-E-M-E-R, -E -E which is a county that borders uh, Blackhawk County where they went missing. I believe it's about 10 miles to the north at borders. They were found in a heavily wooded area. Apparently, there are a lot of wooded areas in Bremer, and uh, police are pursuing what my source says are very solid leads, including looking at sex offenders, registered sex offenders in that county, and also looking at people linked uh, to the meth trade. It's all happening very fast now that they've found the bodies, but um, unfortunately, they do believe that these uh, the bodies are of these two beautiful little uh, girls. Yeah, and certainly uh, they have to transport these bodies to the medical examiner's office, <clears throat> excuse me, for positive identification. But uh, the, the <clears throat> children disappeared in July. They're 8 and 10, so they know how tall they are. So clearly this is, uh, it would appear, we never want to assume, that's the first rule of journalism, but it would appear, given that they uh, contacted the family members, that they made some kind of visual identification that would seem to um, bolster the idea that this may be these girls, and now they're waiting for positive identification.